Welcome back, everybody. Another wonderful day of Fusion 360. I'm taking off right from the last video I just made about the edit form. It's the previous instruction on the basic tools in the sculpting environment in Fusion 360. If you don't know how to get to the Fusion 360 sculpting environment, then you should go back to the other video where I just introduced that. It's number one in this list on the sculpting tools video list. So here we go. Let's talk today about insert edge and insert point. This is exactly where I left off with the last thing where it's kind of like a shark fin. All I did was make a cube and I stretch it out with the edit form. So let me just show that by stretching this out just a bit more, make it more shark fin like. I'm going to pull the bottom out because this would be a very uncomfortable fin for that shark. There we go. That's more shark fin like. You see how easy that was? Just stretching and pulling. All right. Now, what we're going to do right now is we're going to learn about how these two things work insert edge and insert point. These yellow lines I'm selecting are all edges, and the intersections between them are points. Doesn't matter whether it's four edges intersecting or whether it's two, the points are always going to be. A point and they're very obvious because they are they just kind of snap to themselves and you can hover over and find them if, they, if you don't see any points you can also add a point at a random place if i select the insert point hit ok and now there's a point there i don't need it i'm gonna go back the whole thing changed a bit for a reason i won't explain why yet now first let's talk about insert edge insert edge creates a parallel line adjacent to an edge of your choice. So if, let's say I want to make an edge following this up here. I can select this one and that green line pops up. I can drag it around and move it, but I can't move it beyond the next edge. I can select multiple edges, bring them up. And now if I go all the way around my shark fin, I know some of you are screaming, use the mirroring option, but I'm not going to right now. That's later. So now I have this green edge going all the way around. Let me just add this one more. And now it's going fully around, bring it back. There we go. So the green is what I'm adding. The yellow is the current one I'm selecting to be parallel with. Hit okay, simple. This is just fine. Don't change these things. You can mess with them later on on your own and find out what happens. But now you see how it added a brand new edge. Really simple stuff. The other way to add another edge, which I actually use more often than the insert edge. Insert edge is when you want exact parallel. Remember that parallel because sometimes you don't want the other edge to be the same shape, the same distance at all points, at all uh, distances between it along the entire edge. You want something diagonal. Now this is where people usually mess up. I use this the most because it's the most handy for me. Let's say I want an edge to go from here across, not parallel, but just across a bit. I'll select this point here and this point here. And let's do one way up here. So now I have an edge going this way and then backtracking across. If I come back on the other side and follow along. You notice I'm not going back and forth. It's always going to be in one constant movement. If I start here, I have to go up and then up and then down. Don't go, don't backtrack because you're going to cause trouble like this and it doesn't even want to do it. You're going to cause trouble like that. That will cause trouble. I won't tell you why right now. In a second, I will. There we go. So I have almost the same thing. Hit OK. And now it's sort of, it didn't create the edge. I know why. I didn't expect that, but that's fine. So just as an example, let me go back over here and try it over here. Just to show you, there's an edge showing up. So that's how you create an edge. Let me go bring that back. Now here's why I say this always causes trouble for most people. Don't start a point at another point. You can, 
nothing stopping you. If I do that point to point, I can do it. But here's where you get into trouble. This section and this section have one, two, three, three points. One, two, three, three points. They're triangles. Whether they're misshapen or not, they are triangles. And fusion does not like triangles. It can deal with them. It can deal with lots of them, actually. But it's better at dealing with four-sided panels. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They're all four-sided except for this one. This one, if I get more complicated with this object and it intersects itself and I, I stretch it too much or, or just something, who knows? I don't know what to expect. Then it's going to cause trouble and throw errors and I could not be able to export this into the model environment if I want to add it to a, another type of object. So just avoid adding those triangles. So if you do have a triangle and want to add an insert point, don't go from point to point. Always go from line to line. Just add line to line. You're going to save your butt. You're going to save yourself a hassle later on. And that's basically it. Really easy stuff. Insert edge parallel. Insert point any angle you like. Just make sure you go from line to line and not point to point. Find a way to make whatever you want to do. If you really have to go point to point, find a way to make it happen another way. There's always other ways. This program is very, very flexible. It's very ingenious. I love this program, but it does not like you very much if you don't give it four-sided panels. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.